21 Savage has been arrested by US Immigration and Customs, aka ICE, for allegedly being unlawfully present in the US. Reportedly, he's originally from the UK and has overstayed his visa. A CNN reporter quoted an ICE spokesperson saying that his whole public persona is fake. But a lot of people are saying that's a bit of a stretch, and also that ICE is a truly awful institution. Fader senior editor Lawrence Burney tweeted, Why is it hard for some people to grasp that you can move somewhere at 12, have the entirety of your adolescent and young adult experiences there, and claim it as your hometown? Nothing fraudulent about that. A lot of immigrant black people do this. That man has kids. Consider that right now. Demi Lovato got caught up in the controversy after tweeting that 21 Savage memes were her favourite part of the Super Bowl. Many people are arguing that the jokes and memes take away from the real issue though. As one person tweeted, these dumb memes about 21 speaking in Cockney or whatever obscure the truth that ICE is causing untold trauma to people and destroying lives. He's been in America since he was 12. A lot of other celebrities are showing their support for 21 Savage. Vince Staples tweeted, free 21. And when right-wing political commentator Tommy Lahren tweeted, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight ICE agents ready to deport you, Cardi B responded, don't make me get my leash. A reference to an earlier kind offer from Cardi to dog walk Tommy. And as media guru Karen Civil aptly surmised, the 21 Savage arrest is beyond sad. He's been doing such incredible things in the community and changing the stigma of how people perceive rappers to think slash be. Ariana Grande just received the best gift in the world. When Ari tweeted at Tyra Banks asking what she would have done with her hair on the makeover episodes of America's Next Top Model, Tyra tweeted back, I teach personal branding at Stanford, and on day one, my lecture touches on the power of your pony, an iconic visual cue to the world that identifies you, and that she better not touch that tail. Cool that we got the answer to Ariana's pressing question, and that it is the correct answer, but what we really need to know is, oh my god, what happens at Tyra Banks' personal branding course at Stanford? Turns out Tyra started co-teaching the course in 2017 to Stanford MBA students. It's called Project U, Building and Extending Your Personal Brand. According to the class description, it'll teach students all about personal branding and how it can be unleashed as a valuable competitive advantage. Say what you want about the somewhat terrifying prospect that these days, everything we say and do online has to feed into a strategic personal brand representative of your desired personality and analyzed by everyone from prospective bosses to Tinder dates. Tyra's smart. She's transformed from model to very successful presenter slash businesswoman slash author slash producer with a reported net worth of 90 million US dollars. She's acutely aware of the power of a strong visual identity, whether that's a smize or a ponytail. I think I need a new haircut. Other fun facts. This class will be a highly interactive learning environment with, wait for it, wait for it, image transformations. You can literally get a Tyra makeover as part of your uni course. Presentations take place through YouTube recordings, TV broadcasts, and Facebook Lives, and cover everything from pop star hair to ice cream. And you can be a new ice cream company and say, say 20 years ago, I'm a new ice cream, I'm gonna come up with the best vanilla in the world. Ain't nobody gonna be paying attention to that. However, there are two guys, one named Ben and one named Jerry, that said, you know what, we're not gonna be the best vanilla. We're gonna do some decent vanilla ice cream, but we're gonna throw so much stuff in there, we're gonna be different, and that made them stand out. The only question left is, do they offer international scholarships to struggling presenters who base their entire personality on the fact that they just spent six months on crutches? Please tell me what to do with my hair, Tyra. Tomorrow by Together, aka TXT, a K-pop's hottest new boy band. They've got 1.2 million Twitter followers and counting, an official community website for fans to connect on, and countless YouTube videos of people analyzing small but very necessary details about each member, like their star sign, or the fact that one of their nicknames is apparently Cucumber because he is tall, all before they've released any music. What they have released are a handful of videos for all five of the members, which kind of resemble ads for baby oil, or that One Direction fragrance app where they smelled flowers and focused a 16 millimeter film viewfinder it isn't even attached to a camera. Eager fans have spotted clues in the videos, including Morse code messages which spell out dreaming or secret, and that each member has an animal to represent them, like a butterfly or a gecko. So why are they so popular when we barely know anything about them, except for one crucial point, that they're formed by an entertainment company called Big Hit Entertainment, who have one other boy band which they made six years ago, and that is BTS. So are you a TXT fan? If so, please tweet us why. We want to know what you like about them, who your favorite is, what's their music going to sound like, what's their music going to be about. Let us know everything that you want to see in TXT.